What's going on everyone? Uh, this is Video Game Lover here. It's been a while, I understand that. I've been very busy. But today I'm here to talk about all the animes I saw in winter of 2021. Now, I'm not gonna include Jujutsu Kaisen because that's technically a fall anime, but if you want my thoughts on it, it was fucking amazing. Nobara is that woman action was fantastic the baseball episode was hilarious i love jujetsu kaisen it was wonderful so now we're going to discuss every anime that i saw in winter 2021 from worst to best the worst anime to no one's surprise promise neverland season two i cannot believe how did they fuck this up i mean think about it they had an amazing first season and the first two episodes of season two were great but then all of a sudden we get news that they decide to go anime original and they skipped so much of the manga it ended like complete crap this season was so bad i ended up dropping it but i'm most likely going to see it when it comes on Toonami. Just to know, it was garbage. Absolute trash. The second worst anime of winter, in my opinion. Now keep in mind, these are animes I saw. I know that the worst by far is x but we're talking about animes that I saw. The second worst anime I saw this winter was Souls at Work Season 2. I thought it was the most pointless second season I ever saw. We waited two and a half years for this, and what we got was eight episodes, and let alone that it was revealed that they were going to make a movie that's just going to recap episodes four through eight. So it makes me wonder, what was the point of season two then? Why not just do that instead? Instead, you just wasted my time with these eight episodes. It was absolute terrible. The comedy was off. Many of the episodes were boring. And it's just so repetitive. It's, it's We already saw this formula in season one. And I felt that really hurt season two. The third worst. And this one's going to get a little bit of heat. But hear me out. Reincarnated as the slime season two. The first half. Second half is going to air in July. Now I want to tell you this. Yes. The last three episodes of this first half were amazing. Yes, there were a few good episodes. Here's the problem. It took way too long for this season to get good. The first four episodes were so sluggish and they were just nothing but recaps and filler. It wasn't really until the sixth episode when shit goes down. And then episodes eight and nine come around and they're nothing but more and more recaps. Now listen, I understand. We have to build up the story, but it took way too long for that. And now we have to wait until July for more good episodes of this anime. I just think they kind of dropped the ball a little bit with the first half of season two. That's just my opinion. So now we're gonna get to the good that, the good animes that I enjoy. Next up is Cells That Work Code Black. I thought this was way fucking better than Cells That Work uh, season two way better absolutely better than what it was um the main reason why i enjoyed this a lot more for one it's the spin-off of the work except it's way more dark it not only talks about viruses it also talks about other things so for example they're not fighting viruses they're also finding kidney stones athlete's foot there's a lot of twists and turns with this spin-off and i think they did a fantastic job with cells at work black it was way better than season two of cells at work but the only problem is i don't think we're getting a second season because i don't think it did very well nonetheless it was good my third favorite anime of this winter was dr stone season two I really enjoyed season two quite a lot, actually. It was very funny. We got the Stone Wars. But the big problem with season two was it was very, very short. It was only 11 episodes. And the reason for this was they really only wanted to focus on the Stone Wars, which is understandable, but it's disappointing that it was only 11 episodes. However, though, it was very enjoyable. I had a great time with season two of Dr. Stone. It was awesome. If you love season one of Dr. Stone, you are going to love season two. 
My second favorite anime of the season was Skate the Infinity. I absolutely loved Skate the Infinity. The characters were so goddamn good. The pacing of these episodes were great. Racky guys redemption near the end. Um, and I really liked the ending. The ending was very, very good. I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending was very good. It's, it's so refreshing that we finally got a skateboarding anime and it's very good after all these years but if now the good news is this anime was popular but can you imagine this anime came out in the 2000s when skateboarding was as popular so it would have been the reins would have been way through the roof However though, Skate the Infinity was fantastic. I love the character so much. The art style, everything about it was so damn good. And number one, to nobody's surprise, Attack on Titan, the final season. Now, there is a second part to this final season that's coming out next year. But everything about the final season of Attack on Titan, first half, was fantastic. So much build up wonderful pacing in these episodes even if there isn't action going on in these episodes they just fly by so quickly everything about the final season of attack on time is fantastic studio mappa did a phenomenal job adapting the final season for now considering which studio decided to work on other projects but that is overall my thoughts on every anime that i saw this winter you want to talk about a backlog anime that i saw SSS as Gridman, and I enjoyed that. I saw that on Toonami, and I thought that was a really solid anime. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.